Hello, hello, beautiful ones. I actually wanted to come on board today to talk about the vaccine. Uh, first of all, I don't know whether I can able, able to show you. I've made a crystal grid down here, a healing crystal grid. And uh, when I do a healing session, I always um, put the astral form of the person over the crystal grid. So they're getting that as well. Anyway, I diverse from the subject I'm talking about. I wanted to talk about the vaccine. Now, I am not an anti-vaxxer, but I am not going to have the COVID-19 vaccination. And, and that is because um, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust where it's come from. I don't, um, uh, I don't want it in my veins, if you like. And of course, it's not been tested fully and it's having lots of side effects for people. But I wanted to also talk about shedding. So shedding, what happens with shedding is that you might be with someone that um, has had the vaccine, you haven't had the vaccine, and apparently they shed um, the spike protein um, from the vaccine, which then can create the person who hasn't had the vaccine to become ill as well. So the vaccine seems to have a lot of side effects, which is to do with hemorrhaging and things like that. Um, I have uh, known of people that have in a working environment have um, not had the vaccine and yet other staff members have had the vaccine and the person who hasn't has become ill. So it does seem as if um, from uh, people's personal experiences um, that I have listened to and watched also, uh, both online and off, um, they have been affected by people that have had the vaccine. So, what I did a healing session on someone last night, and they are a person that works with the general public, and of course a lot of the general public all over the world are having uh, the vaccine, and she was very concerned about how she could protect herself. So, during the healing session, when we're in that space, I get lots of information come through. And what I got last night was, which I'm going to take you through now. So please, please share this um, uh, because it may help lots of people. Now, I've also heard that people that get the vaccine um, from an energetic point of view, it, this, entangles, dislodges, or whatever you want to call it, the soul away from the physical form. So it, it creates the soul to detach, that's the word, to, to detach from the physical form, which, um, you know, we really need, our souls really need to be fully attached by the silver cord um, as, um, how we are that's how we're born how how uh, how our makeup is that is natural to us so anyway on a spiritual level and an energetic level um during this healing session i got given um a set of tools if you like and some of them have been around a long time anyway but this set of tools um are to protect yourself from being around people that have had the vaccine. And, and what Spirit told me was that the most important thing is that you have to do this yourself. So I'm going to take you through the process so you can listen to it and do it yourself, but it's no good doing it yourself just once because this is actually going to build up a energetic field of protection, if you like. And it's going to stop, hopefully, 
those proteins coming in, but it's also going to protect your own soul. But you have to do it more than once. Uh, um, uh, I normally say to people, um, you know, when I'm when when you're building up a spiritual protection field, um, it's better to. I don't know, say for the first three days, do it two or three times a day because you want to build that field up as quickly as possible. And I feel like it's similar for this. So it's better to do it two or three times a day and then maybe once a day after that and get to a point where you perhaps only do it twice a week. I know that it will build up a field if you do it regularly. So I'm going to take you through it now. Um, it's very simple. It's not hard. It's extremely simple. So I want you to just sit, close your eyes. And the first most important thing is that we're going to get you into that space of pure love because love is the highest frequency. So I want you to think of something in your life where you felt the most unconditional love. And I want you to breathe that feeling in. There is also some music which you can find on YouTube, which is of the frequency of love. So I am just going to play that now, and it's five to eight hertz, the frequency of love. five to eight hertz. It opens your heart and it is the love frequency. So I'm just gonna play that in the background. Again, think of something in your life where you felt the most unconditional love. It might be your, uh, a pet, your children, a person in the family, a best friend, a lover, whoever it is, where you just feel that most unconditional love and I want you to breathe that feeling in, just feeling it coming into your lungs, expanding your heart out and then breathing out. And on every out breath, you're letting go of what no longer serves you. Breathing in again, that beautiful unconditional love, feeling it, seeing it in your mind's eye as a pink mist that's entering your lungs, entering your heart space, entering your chest area and your torso and really expanding out your heart energy and then breathing out, feeling your body relaxing, feeling into that space of pure relaxation, breathing in that beautiful unconditional love again, seeing that pink mist entering into your body flooding down now through your entire body down to your toes your fingertips and the top of your head and breathing out releasing and letting go through all time and space through all dimensions past present and future breathing in again that beautiful unconditional love seeing it flood through your body Seeing it in your mind's eye going into every single cell in your body, every particle of you, and breathing out and letting go. Breathing in again that beautiful unconditional love, seeing it flood through your body, going into your DNA, going into all of your cells, and then out through your skin and into your energy field. So you're now sitting in a bubble of unconditional love or lying in a bubble of unconditional love. Just feeling that feeling, feeling secure, protected, at peace, at one. Bringing your breath back to what's normal for you, knowing that from this moment forward for the rest of your physical life, you will breathe in unconditional love and every time you breathe out, you're releasing what no longer serves you. When you're going throughout your day-to-day -day life, just where every time you catch yourself breathing, because we do it automatically, but when you become aware of it, know that you're breathing in unconditional love. You're tapping into that frequency 
of 5 to 8 hertz that's around us in the, in the unified field. And you're breathing it in. So in your mind's eye, I want you to see your bubble, that beautiful pink mist bubble that you are now in the middle of. And on the outskirts of that bubble, I want you to see that there's a golden rim of pulsating light. And this light also is connected to the highest frequency that exists. Beyond that, I want you to see that there's tiny little threads, streams of light, threads of light coming in from all the way around you as we have tapped into that eight, uh, 528 hertz that's in the quantum field or the unified field. And we've tapped into that high frequency energy and now that is pouring in to your bubble. And it is creating a field around the outskirts of the bu bubble as it pours in. And now it's gonna slowly seep through and come in and swirl all around you, coming in through your skin and through all of your chakras, down through your crown, filling your body. So now you are actually filled with pure love and light. And this light, this gold pulsating light, I want you to know that it is intelligent in nature and it knows exactly where to go and what to do for you personally. A bit like Reiki, universal life force energy is intelligent. This is from a higher dimension than Reiki. It is more direct, very, very intelligent and an advanced light technology. It is filled with information codes or light codes. And it is specifically because you're the one tapping into it for your blueprint. So see it pouring in from all the way around you and it's coming in through the pink mist, blending with the pink mist both within and around you. So now we're going to call upon all of our guides, all of our, the archangels and angels that work with us. We're also connecting into the God source, the collective, the higher realms of the spirit world the Brotherhood of Light, Galactic Federation of Light, the High Council, all of the interdimensional and transdimensional beings that work for the betterment of humanity and the earth from the higher dimensions. And of course, last but certainly not least, our beautiful ET friends. Feel them coming in close. In particular, now we're going to call upon the masters. In particular, Saint Germain and Kuan Yin, Jesus, Mary. And any other of the masters that you would like to call upon. Also all the archangels. And we're going to ask them now to bring in the violet fire, the violet light, to come in and mix with that golden rim around the outskirts of your bubble. Bringing in the golden, the, the violet fire, bringing that in and seeing it now blending with the golden light all the way around your bubble, so that you now have the violet flame all the way around you. We're also tapping in to the silver rainbow uh, fire or light and the diamond white light. 
and fire. And we're bringing those in now and I want you to see them just coming in and slotting in with the gold and with the violet flame all the way around. So the silver rainbow light, the diamond white light, the violet flame or the violet fire all the way around your bubble. Creating a protective barrier. We need to feel it there. The more you go through this process, the stronger that barrier will become. And in particular, because everything works with intention, we are setting the intention that only pure love and high frequency positive feelings and emotions can come in through that barrier. All negativity, anything that is to the detriment of any of your bodies cannot come through. But in particular, any shedding from the vaccine, any spike proteins, or anything else you want to mention cannot enter through that protective shield that you've built up. It will hit the outside of it and dissolve, be burnt. will not be able to enter without a doubt. Setting this in stone and so it is. But anything from the vaccine, any shedding from other people will not be able to enter through that field. Now I know that you are such powerful beings that after doing this exercise several times, you will build up a field around you. Believe it, know it, and it is. At the same time, we're going to stay grounded, attached to the earth, and bringing in the cosmic energy down from above. The light of the collective and again, the highest frequency that exists, bringing that down from above in through the crown and down through the entire body and out your feet into your earth star chakra and into the earth. And then bringing the earth's energy up through that central funnel from the center of the earth up through your feet coming up through your body and out your crown and up into the cosmos so that you are also connected above and below feeling that shield around you remember it's only allowing in pure unconditional love and positive loving frequencies and energies and emotions. So I hope you can feel this within your body. Remember, it might take you to do it say six times, nine times to actually build up that shield strong enough. So it's important to do that for the first two or three days intensified, maybe three times a day, two times a day, three times a day. 
and then after that once a day and then after that you can spread it out a bit to keep it topped up. I have used a similar thing, not exactly the same as this and certainly not for the vaccine. It was actually to, um, I was staying in a haunted castle in the UK and it was to stop uh, this spirit that was coming to me every night that was um, interfering with my energy field and everything. And it was to stop that. And in one day, I think it was one day, one or two days anyway, um, I, by doing a sequence a very similar to what I've just said, building up a field or a shield an energy field around my aura when uh, I went to bed that following night and I saw that mass of black energy that was coming towards me in the in this room which happened to be at the top of one of the towers in this castle um, I actually heard static in my ears where it tried to come in the field that I'd built up and it went around the field and flew out through the door. So I knew without a doubt that I had built up that field. So I know this works. So I hope this has helped you. Please, please, please share this because uh, I really feel that this is something that um, will help many, many people that are stressed and worried and in fear about the shedding. Please don't be in fear because that actually lowers your frequency. You need to really stay fully self-assured, fully in your power and no fear, knowing without a doubt that you are fully protected. That's what's going to see you through. The moment you start questioning and allowing fear in, you've lowered your frequency right down and it's so important to keep your frequency at the highest level you possibly can at the moment. No fear, no fear. Build that shield up, know without a doubt that it is there, because I know it is. Once you've done it and it's there, you just need to keep topping it up to keep it strong and it's done. So, if this has helped you, please, please, please share. If you are new to here, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you would like to know more of what I do, please go to my website, which is ginnyjoneshealing.com. And uh, I'm going to wish you so much love. Remember, no fear, love, high vibration, high frequency, positive mindset, open heart that's what's going to see you through all of what's unfolding has unfolded and is yet to unfold because it hasn't stopped keep that high vibe and you will sail through all of this much much love to you many many blessings i feel like giving you all a big massive virtual hug lots of love and bye for now Bye.